I want to be a speaker, Mr. Farrington. And so to him, to Dr. Ari Shelton, to Gregory Meeks, to all of you, on behalf of the Reverend Dr. Carol A. Baltimore Sr. and progressive Baptists throughout this world, we congratulate you on your ninth Prostate Health Summit. Uh, we are the Progressive National Baptist Convention, the convention, the church convention of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And our mission is similar to your mission. When you think about Dr. King, Dr. King was about joining hands and prayer and action to save lives. And that's what we seek to do as the Progressive National Baptist Convention. And so we are delighted uh, to partner with the Prostate Health Education Network. We have 4,000 churches throughout this nation, in the Caribbean, in Africa, and also in the UK. Our churches tend to be the more urban activist civil rights churches like Shiloh Baptist Church here in town, Metropolitan Baptist Church, uh, Allen uh, Temple Baptist Church in Oakland, California, uh, churches all across this nation. And clearly, uh, if you think about prostate health and trying to reach African-American men the knowledge that they need to get their prostates, prostates, can't say that word right, help me say it. Prostates checked. It can be a very daunting task. Uh, but we know uh, that we look at the research, 90% of African-American men are believing God and are religious. Now, not all African-American men go to church, but 90% of African-American men believe in God. And, know, and knowing, that, therefore, that our, our task has to be to not only tell them, that, tell them they have a responsibility to take care of their children, to be good husbands, but also to take care of their bodies. Because the Bible says, know ye not, that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit, and you are bought with a price. That's the message that we seek to get across to men. And knowing uh, that of those 90% of men uh, that believe uh, in God, a good percentage of them, not all, but at least 40% come to church on any given Sunday. And you look at the statistics, and the statistics say uh, that the most respected uh, leaders in the community, according to African Americans, is not, uh, it's not the mayor, not uh, the politicians, not, uh, not uh, uh, the, the commissioners, but the most respected leaders in the African American community are pastors. And so I was surprised when I heard Gregory Meek said, uh, turn to your neighbor. <laughs> He sounded like a preacher, amen. <laughs> That's what we preachers do. You come to church and say, neighbor, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, have you had your prostate checked? And those things are very effective, amen. We had Dr. Arnie Shelton come to the East Washington Heights Baptist Church, which is located in East Washington, about three miles east of the Capitol. He came and, and gave his testimony. On that Sunday, the next day, we, I, I said, men, uh, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, oh neighbor, have you had your prostate check? Do you know what your PSA score is? Do you know how it differs from where it was last year? So what I'm trying to say is that the church is a very effective way uh, of, of, of reaching our men. And so we are delighted to be in partnership uh, with the Prostate Health Education Network because we have the same goals. And uh, what, what we, we, we have the Father's Day initiative uh, we are also interested in expanding our partnership. Many of our churches nowadays, we have pink Sundays, where on that Sunday, uh, we have testimonies about breast cancer. We want to have the same with respect to prostate cancer. Uh, because lo and behold, very often our men don't think it's manly to go to the doctor. Uh, don't think it's manly to have their prostate checked. But it makes a big difference when you have a man in the church who's alive and stand up and say, I have prostate cancer, and I'm a survivor, and I have my prostate. 